the great linebacker, Brian Urlacher, joining us from Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Brian, thanks so much for joining us here on NFL Total Access, and, and you're the very first player we've ever had here on NFL Total Access. Thanks for being that for us. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm definitely excited. And, and we appreciate you wearing that lid. You, that's, that's, the, that's the latest in NFL Network gear we you got there on your head. I appreciate it. You know, I got to wear a hat because I'm kind of going bald, but I appreciate it. Well, listen, uh, let's, let's, let's see. Do you mind? I mean, because I'm, I'm, I'm a man who can respect the follically challenged. It's not too bad. I keep it short so you can't tell, but you see the sides here going back a little bit. All right, there is so much to unpack. We've got the Hall of Famer. Brian Urlacher is Hello. with us. First ever guest on NFL Total Access uh, and making an appearance on our final show here on TA. All right, I, gotta, I feel like I want to start with the hair stuff, but let's, let's start where yeah. we should start. You've done what, probably like a million of these interviews? Do you actually remember the first Total Access that you did? I have done a few. I, I remember that one because I remember we had this uh, office there at House Hall that we would go to do our interviews. So I remember walking in there, and Rich was a big deal with ESPN before he went to, to NFL Network. So I liked him already. So I was excited to talk to him. You couldn't tell how excited I was. I, I was just watching the interview. And I did not look excited one bit, but I'm sure I was on the inside. Just <laughs> didn't show it. <laughs> I like. Can, can you flip the lid? Because oh, I yeah, yeah. So now the so the hair is better. So I've uh, I've had some work done, obviously. Well, I did go. I ended up did going. Yeah. bald uh, at some point <laughs> and then uh, a couple of years ago I, I found a company to fix my hair for me restore there in Chicago you're talking about the billboards earlier they're all over Chicago uh, get a lot of fun made of me it's okay I don't mind I'm, I'm used to it by now but I like the hair oh, there you go there See? it is I, I actually yeah, even said to you before this interview I said you know about all these billboards because we, we had some you know yeah. friends and colleagues in the Chicago area firing over pictures of you and by the way I mean kudos to you because the, the the mop looks pretty strong right there yeah, I, I'm not mad with it. You know, I, I I did get some good compliments when I when I first came back. They're like, oh, you look younger. So that's all it took for me to keep it. I was like, I'm in. I look younger. Sign me up for that. Yeah, but at my age, it's kind of tough to look young. So sign me up. I, I don't know if Rich is going to reach out to me, but if uh, he needs to get in touch with you, should I not even go there? That might be a bad pass. So um, uh, but... leave, leave Rich alone about that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. How about this? Chicago Bears perspective. You guys have been sort of the talk of the NFL world. You tell me you're, you're a legend. You're a Hall of Famer. Obviously, everyone in Chicago loves you. What's it like to see the excitement and, and knowing Caleb Williams is now the new face of this franchise? Yes, I mean, he's a great college player, right? I mean, uh, it's not good to have the number one pick two years in a row, but I think I think they got the guy this time. You know, he, he's the, athletically, he's unbelievable. Throws the ball, great. Uh, they got some good receivers for him, too. I like, I love the number nine pick. Roman Dunsay was great. DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, they got Cole Komet, and they always run the ball well, and they got a good defense. So we, we can uh, hopefully have something to build on there. You know, defensively, last year, they played really well. Just didn't, you know, they, the record didn't show it, but they played better last year. So I think... If Caleb plays pretty well, maybe not as good as C.J. Stroud last year, but if he plays good for a rookie, they're going to have a chance to win some games. Yeah, that bar very, very high with C.J. Stroud, who, by the way, was the number yes. two overall pick a couple seasons ago. I think about when the schedule just released, we had it for everyone here on NFL Network a couple days ago, and I, I can't help but look at a, at a one and two matchup with the Chicago Bears and the Commanders. First overall pick of Caleb Williams and then Jaden Daniels. What's it like when you were playing? You get the schedule, you look at it, and like, what are you looking for? Uh, so my biggest, I want to play at 12 o'clock on Sunday every week. So I was trying to see how many night games we had, honestly. And you look for the green Bay games first, look for those two. And then, uh, try and see how many night games we had and where they were. And then the Thursday night game, I love the Thursday night games because that means we had a three day weekend. So I could probably go fishing on Friday in Florida. If we <laughs> played somewhere down South, I could fly out to Florida and fish for a couple of days and come back and be, uh, home in time for work on Monday. But yeah, this guy, it wasn't that big of a deal. I guess I mean, it seems like it's gotten a, a bigger deal uh, the, the further I am removed from the game. But um, I know now with all the, the overseas games and everything going on, it's a big deal. Yeah. Brian, I, I got to tell you, man, a real thrill for me because I watched you play. Uh, a real treat for us here on Total Access. The first guest and now officially the last guest that this show will awesome. ever have, man. Um, kudos to you. I'm glad we get to do it with you. We get to walk off with the Hall of Famer here on TA. Much appreciated, my friend. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.